Uh, the government will give details in the Commons this afternoon of its plan to spare uh, more flat owners in England from the ruinous costs of removing unsafe cladding more than four years after the Grenfell Tower fire. Yeah, ministers want developers to pick up a £4 billion bill for residents in low-rise blocks who've previously been offered loans to pay for the work themselves. But campaigners say these latest solutions are still not enough, as our business correspondent Sarah Corker reports. Removing dangerous cladding on buildings across Britain. Since the Grenfell tragedy nearly five years ago, the row over who should pay to make other tower blocks safe has only intensified. The government will confirm later today that people living in smaller blocks will not have to foot the bill for cladding costs. But non-cladding faults won't be covered. Campaigners like Sophie from Stevenage want ministers to go further. It is a positive step that the government have finally agreed that leaseholders shouldn't be part of the solution um, to the building safety crisis. But it really doesn't go far enough in terms of the interim costs and all of the other fire safety defects that these buildings have. You can't make the building safe in terms of cladding and not fire barriers, smoke seals, insulation, because the buildings will still be classed as unsafe. The Housing Secretary, Michael Gove, will tell Parliament that innocent leaseholders should not have to shoulder the burden. A £4 billion scheme will help people living in buildings between 11 and 18 metres who have previously missed out on grants to remove cladding. Mr Gove will warn developers they'll be expected to pay for the scheme or face legal or tax changes. There will also be more money for fire alarms, a review of the scale of the work actually needed, and leaseholders will also be given more time to sue builders over defective flats, up to 30 years after construction. At the moment, it's six years. Developers often argue they met building regulations at the time and so shouldn't be liable for these costs. But all of this has already dragged on for years. None of these solutions will be quick or easy. And the financial situation for many is already critical. Sarah Corker, BBC News.